Oh yeah, we're here again for a box opening. We got some Bloomberg. Bloomberg. Let's get into it. Let's get this party started. In here. And her. <clears throat> so pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I got animals and stuff. Some stuff and animals. Ooh. Came prepared. We didn't forget our bag this time. So I won't just have pack wrappers everywhere. Oh, it's a box. It's a box. Here, I'm shooting this one with the camera phone to see which one I like better. And here we go. Pack one, pick one. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, we got an art card. Starting out strong. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. And, oh, look at that pretty land. That's a nice land. That land nice. Oh, that's a froggy. One mana, beginning of your upkeep, return another creature you control to its own hand. If you do, put a plus one counter on this. Otherwise, return this to your hand. Oh, it's the turtle. Uh, four, six, reach. As long as you control ten or more lands, plus two, plus two. When it or another creature you control with toughness greater than its power... Look at the top card of your library. If it's land, you may put it on the battlefield. Otherwise, put it in your hand. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Double rare pack right off the rip. Right off the rip. Pack two. It's a fish. Fish. It's a foil. It's a swamp. Oh, it's a flood caller. 2 2 flash. Can cast non creatures as though they had flash. Whenever you cast a non creature, uh, bird, frog, otters, and rats get plus one, plus one, and untap them. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Next. Oh no. Oh no. The pack ripped funny. Oh look, we got one of the new fancy tokens. That's a token of a creature. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. We got a foil. We got a shwamp. And we got... Ooh! <laughs> we got Rao. Crackle with power. Planeswalker. Whenever you cast a non-creature, put a loyalty counter on it. Plus one, make a blue-red otter with prowess. Minus three, draw three, discard two. Ten, draw three cards, then you get an emblem. Instance of sorceries you control have storm. It's funny, I ordered them. So, I now have enough. Oh, that one can go in my commander deck. Next. And art card. Oh, look at the rabbit. Little bunny foo foo. Foil. Land. Boom! It's a bird. Flying. Four or five. Whenever one or more birds you control deal combat damage to a player, choose one. Uh, put a bird card from your hand or a graveyard on the battlefield with a finality counter on it. Put a plus one counter on each bird. Or draw a card. That's nice. That's nice. Bird is the word, right? Ba 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 boom bow wow ba ba boom bow wow. Eat, eat another art card. Whoosh. That's pretty cool. Foil. Planes. 
Oh, look. When you ever, whenever you extend four, you may discard your hand if you do draw two cards. Hmm. That sounds interesting. What does everybody think about Bloom Burl? It's pretty nice, huh? It's got some good cards in it. Bloom Burl. What is that? I still don't know what it is. Foil? Foil land? Oh, Starfall Invocation. I want to do something with this. It's gift a card. You can let your opponent draw a card. Destroy all creatures. If a gift was promised, return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield that died this way. Oh, look. Gossip's Tail. <sighs> that sounds like work to me. It's always some kind of gossip going on. XOXO, right? <laughs> that Blake Lively. Wow. Oh, look, we got the otter. Ooh, we'll actually need that for standards. Because we're playing Rail. Swamp. Look, whenever it enters, tap up to one target creature and put three sun counters on it. If you control that creature, draw two cards. Why would I do that to my own creature? Debbie Doom. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, no. All right, we chug along. Chug, chug, chug. Planes. Boom! Look at that mana dork. Uh, tap it, add a green. Forage, add two mana. Forage is exile three cards or sack of food. And then search the library for a squirrel card, reveal it, put it. Oh, boom! Look at that! Innkeeper's Tail. Looks like a $20 card. I know. I don't usually talk about prices, but um, this is a card that went up in price because. So. When you play it at the beginning of your combat, you put a plus one counter on target creature control. Level it up, permanent you control with counters have ward one. And then ward level three, if you would put one or more counters on a permanent or a player, put twice as many. So this combos with Planeswalkers, kind of like doubling season. So people are Varaskaing with that. And then you ultimate Varaska and your opponent gets 18 poison counters. So it's insta-death. Insta death. Look at that froggy. Froggy with a court and he did right hand bone. Mountain. Oh look it's a raccoon trash panda. Um beginning of your main phase, add a green or red for each raccoon you control. Whenever you expand four, you gain three life. Whenever you expand eight, exile top two cards until the end of your next turn, you may play those cards. That's pretty good actually. I mean, we got left. We got four left of stack one. Stack one, pick one. Art card. Boom. Pretty good art. Oh, it's shiny foil. Foil is so shiny. Oh, foil land is so shiny. Oh, look at this guy. Um, as long as you've lost life this turn. Has flying and vigilance. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one counter on him. Whenever it dies, put the counters on a creature you control. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I need the, I need the blue one. The blue thing. What do you... Oh, that's pretty good art. Card. And boom. And a land. Uh, Valley Mike Collar. Trample. Whenever another frog, rabbit, raccoon, or squirrel you control enters, put a plus one counter on Valley Collar. Hmm. That's a weird wording for that card now. I was thinking about 
whenever a creature you control. Whenever a frog, rabbit, raccoon, or squirrel you control. That seems weird. There's a rabbit totem. There's a lizard assassin. There's a land. Uh, season of bold. You get five paws. You pay one to create a treasure token. X two to exile two cards from the library. Play them to the end of turn three. Uh, until your next turn, whenever you cast a spell, this deals two damage. That's actually not bad. Alright, last pack of the first. First stack. Oh no, the card stayed in there. That's fine. Foil. Foil lined. Oh, whenever one or more creatures you control die, create a food token. Once per turn. Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, target player mills two cards. Beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice three other non lands if you do return a creature from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. A finality. Okay, well, the stack one. We got some stuff. We got the. The innkeeper, we got the row, we got the sunfall invocation, we got things and stuff. Alright, let's move along, moving along, moving along. Okay, stack two, dust, dust second. Okay. Boom. Oh, look. It's Bat Bob's little token. That's pretty cool. We're going to keep that one. Shwamp. Uh, players can't gain life. Damage can't be prevented. Whenever it deals damage to a player, it equals the number of non-basic lands that players controls. Eh. I said eh. <laughs> Downtown Rabbit. Oh, look. Whenever you attack with one or more lizards, hired claw deals one damage target opponent. Pay two, put a plus one counter on it. Activate only if opponent lost life this turn. There's an is land. It's Mabel. Other mice you control get plus one, plus one. When Mabel enters, create a car flame legendary colorless equipment artifact token. With equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. Vigilance, trample, and haste. Equipped for two. Ooh, that pack had three rares in. Look, we got artist talent. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. Um, non-creature spells you cast cost one less. And if a source you control would deal non-combat damage to an opponent, deals that much plus two. Woo, that was a mouthful. That's what she said. Oh, we got a food token. We got this foily fella. We got this foily fella. Oh, look at this. Reveal the top X cards of your library for each card type. You may exile a card of that type from among them. Put the rest into the graveyard. You may cast a spell from among the exile cards without paying its mana cost. If you exile four more cards this way, then put the rest of the exile cards in your hand. Yeah, I think that uh, card is bugged on Arena. It doesn't seem to work correctly. Mm. But mom. Boom. Whenever it attacks, each opponent loses X life and you gain X life where X is the number of Squirrels, bats, lizards, and rats you control. And rats. Rat king. 
Move along with the bloom barrel. The bloomies. Oh no, no, no. Come out the pack. There's another food. There's a foil lens. There's a regular lens. There's a legendary squirrel warlock. Menace. Other squirrels you control have menace. Whenever you sacrifice one or more foods, create a green squirrel. Uh, forage to put plus one counter on each squirrel you control. Whirly! Whirly? Alright, alright. Keep it cruising. Keep on cruising, buddy. Hey, we just opened this token. Boom! It is... Cosmo Caller. Uh, flying Vigilance. Whenever a bat you control attacks, you gain a life. Whenever it attacks, you may pay two and two life. When you do return target non land permanent, amount of value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. With a finality counter on him. We've got zero. This is the second box. We've got zero um, special guests. Rabbit. Oh, I needed this. Whenever it enters, make a 1-1 one, one blue red otter. Level 2, you may return an instant sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. 6, whenever you cast an instant sorcery, make a 1-1 one, one blue otter. Otter, no. <laughs> That's so funny. You live, you learn. Open this me. Art card. Oh, that's a cool one. Oh, look, we got a foily. Oh, look, that one art card, I didn't realize it has a signature on it. Anyway. Uh, whenever it becomes a Star Wars spell or ability you control for the first time each turn, look at the top five cards of your library. Reveal a creature, amount of value three or less from among them, put them on the battlefield. If it's your turn, if you don't, on the battlefield. Oh, look, it's the otter. Draw a card, then discard a card. Copy target, insert sorcery spell. You may choose a new target. Activate only if its power is three or greater. Greater. Alright, we have four packs of stack two. Stack two. Oh look, there's the sword thingy. Oh look, it's Manifold Mouse, offering two. So if you pay two, you can put a 1-1 one, one copy of this. Beginning of combat on your turn, target mouse you control gains double strike or trample till end of turn. I hate you Mises to pieces. Three packs. What are you packing? <laughs> Squirrel token. Looks dignified. Bonafide. Forest. Oh, look. Fable Passage. I need this, too. Can't really get too excited, because I used to own those when they were in standard originally, but then they rotated out, and I don't play standard, so... <laughs> Moving on. Two packs left. Still got time to see a special guest. Art card. Oh, raccoon sleeping. Land and... Blah, 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 blah. Bunny foo foo. Whenever it attacks, put a plus one counter on each other creature you control. That's a token or a rabbit. Then if creatures you control have total power of ten or greater, draw a card. Drawing cards, baby. All right, last pack of this stack. Let's see. What do we got here? What do we want to be? What do we want? What do we want? Oh, there's sword artifact. Valley quest collar. Whenever one or more rabbit, bat, bird, or mice. 
you control in their scry one. Other rabbits, birds, rabbits, bats, birds, mice, you control get plus one, plus one. Plus one, plus one. Alright, that stack was not bad. Not bad. Not bad. We got some things. Well, we got a fable passage we needed. We needed that for our deck, so. That's cool, that's cool. Um, you know me, if y'all have seen openings, right, I'm looking for cards I use, so. As far as value, money-wise, it's, uh, it's a strange concept for me. Anyway, final stack of this box. This is where our special guest is. His name is Rabbit. From 8 Mile. Ooh, that light got bright. Hold on. Okay. And forest and skadoosh. Other creatures you control... Other creatures you control enter with an additional plus one counter on them for each opponent who lost life this turn. Whenever you cast a lizard spell, this deals one damage to target opponent. Ward of pay two life. It's a strong start. That's strong start. Strong. Oh, started from the bottom down here. Unsigned one. Foily. Schwumpy. Oh, man, this guy. Whenever this or another bird you control enters, exile up to one target creature you control without flying. Return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter. Beginning the next end step. Me. Whenever one or more other creatures you control leave the battlefield without dying, draw a card. Return another creature you control to its owner's hand. Hmm. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Bot token. Foil it. Ooh. Gift a card. You may promise in front of a gift. If, they, if you do, they draw a card. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Then if a gift was promised, that creature isn't legendary, create a 1-1 one, one copy of it. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Next one. Boom. Oh, look, there's a sign one. Boom. Boom. Haste prowess. Whenever it's the target of target spell, reverse time each turn. Top card over library. Exile. You may play it till your next turn. Me. Me me me. I said me me me. Me 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 me. me. Foil. Foil lawn. Oh, look at this legendary creature. Whenever you cast a creature spell with mana value 4 or greater, you draw a card, gain a life, and put a plus one counter on this. Add X mana of any one color where X is its power. Spend the mana only to cast creatures with mana value 4 or greater, or creature spells with X in their mana costs. Boy, howdy, that was a mouthful. What we got here? Oh! Oh! It's the Rao emblem. Oh! I love you. We'll put you over here because I'm going to use you. Oh, look, it's the foil of that other creature we were seeing earlier. Oh, look, it's this one. Create. You get five paws. Create a 1 1 white rabbit is one paw. Exile target, non land permanent. So controller draws cards, two paws. Turn target permanent with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield with an indestructible counter. That's three paws. Three paws. That emblem, though. Ooh, we I'll leave that in the frame right there. Just so we can stare at it. It's so pretty. No. 
Gotta be careful with flinging that paper. Uh, okay. Okay. KK. Ooh! Every tag one. Oh, yeah, yeah. We've seen this one earlier. We've seen that one earlier. That's okay. Ooh! Put a coin counter on Wishing Well. When you do, you may cast target instant or sorcery with mana value equal to the number of coin counters on Wishing Well from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If a spell would be put in your graveyard, uh, exile it instead. Actually, it only has a sorcery. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I haven't yet played with that card yet. But, um, I might play around with it, see what we got going. Boom. Art card. Foil card. Foil in. Ooh, the Mockingbird. <sighs> X. You may have it enter as a copy of any creature on the battlefield with mana value of with mana value less than or equal to the amount of mana spent to cast it. Except it's a bird in addition to its other types and has flying. Flying. Three packs left, fellas. Fellow buddies. Oh. Oh, that's the manifold mouse. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, the Calamity. I'm not sure about this card. It's bugged on Arena, so I'm not sure how it plays. Oh, look, the Rat King. Ward 2. If a creature an opponent controls would die, exile instead. Beginning of your each end step. Blah, blah, blah. Beginning of each end step. Create X11 one, one Black Rat Creature tokens with this creature gets plus 1. For each other rat you control, where X is the number of creatures your opponents control that were exiled this turn. That was a lot to say. Two packs left. Two packs. Art card. Oh, that's cool. Foil and land. Uh, offering. Pay two, you get a copy, a one one copy. Add one minute of any color. Put a plus one counter on this creature. Oh, look. You and permanent you control gain hexproof until end of turn. If gift was promised, permanent you control also gain indestructible until end of turn. All right, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. Last, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me, last pack. Last pack of the box. Is it fire? Ooh, it's got food. Ooh, it's got foil. They all have foil. Ooh, it has a land. Add a colorless. Sack a token. Draw a card. Pay three. Pay a life. Create a 1-1 one, one blue fish. Pay four. Create a treasure. Well, that was the box, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what you think about that box and what what you're excited to see from Bloom Barrel. Let's do the thing. One, two, three, four. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. Forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, rare and mythics, and then four mythics. No special guests, so let me know what you think. We got some stuff for our deck and that's good i appreciate anybody that watches the videos not just this one but all of them and um appreciate it um i got another box opening check it out and remember fridays are linked to the past randomizer and weekends usually i run a final fantasy randomizer final fantasy world cloud randomizer anyway blah, 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 blah. until next time 
have a good life.